Psalm 127 verse 1 to 127 verse 5 through the Bible. Psalm 127. Theme, the vanity of building without God. This is another great pilgrim song. It has been called the Cotter's Saturday Night Song, which is probably as good as any name. It is a mighty crescendo. Here you come to the crest of the Psalms. We are at the highest elevation when we reach the temple area in Mount Zion in Jerusalem, but this psalm carries us right into the heavenlies. This is a psalm that is applicable to us in our day, and it reveals an utter dependence upon God. This psalm has been used on several important occasions. It was used at the inauguration of President Eisenhower. Two Bibles were used. One of them was George Washington's Bible and it was opened at Psalm 127. The inscription, A Song of Degrees for Solomon, does not appear in the Septuagint version. There are those who hold that the expression, My Beloved, refers to Solomon, but the son of David mentioned here is not Solomon. He is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Psalm 127 verses 1 and 2. The word vain is used three times in these verses. My friend, everything is vain unless God is in it. Everything is dependent on him and on his blessings. An old German proverb says, Everything depends on the blessing of God. I wish we looked at things like that. This is why this psalm has been called the Cotter's Saturday Night Song. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, Wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Matthew 6 verse 31 to 34. In this psalm we find a reference to children. When the pilgrim went to Jerusalem, he took his family to worship with him. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Psalm 127 verse 3 Here is the pilgrim, his wife, and his children. All of them are in Jerusalem to thank God. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalm 127 verses 4 and 5 His children will defend him. It is a comforting thing to have a child who will defend you, and to have a whole little army of them is quite wonderful. The psalmist who wrote this knew nothing about the population explosion.